out there. Welcome back to another episode of Uncensored Solar TV brought to you by all the amazing folks and the team here at Solar Wolf Energy. And I have here next to me, we're going to do a quick review here of a Solaria panel. These, as you can tell, are quite sexy. So in the solar industry over the last few years, this is a monocrystalline panel. You've seen the transition from the blue panels to the black one. Uh, there's a couple of reasons behind that. Mainly, I would say the transition is, is due because of the aesthetics. Obviously, solar panels on the roof years back were a huge constraint for a lot of folks that wanted to save money, but really didn't want to commit to having these blotchy things on the roof. Whereas these today are getting a little bit more sleeker. They're spending more time on the design execution. And what we're left with today right now is a couple of companies that are really stressing the aesthetics of these solar panels, as well as the heightened efficiency. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you guys to the Solaria 360 Power XT. This here, is a 360 watt panel. Again, it's a monocrystalline panel. This one here checks in at just under 20% efficiency at 19.9. Some things about the Solarius versus other panels you'll notice is they spent the time, like I said, you don't see much of the grid work. There's, this isn't a white back sheet panel where you have the little dots on them and some of the ones your neighbors or your community might have. They developed a system where they kind of eliminated that while still keeping maximum efficiency, which is key, right? Also, this panel here has four diodes, whereas most panels this size have three. They've really divided this panel into four quadrants rather than doing thirds, which is what most, most uh, solar panel module manufacturers do for the sole fact that with that, if you have a little bit of shading, if you have some tree shading, let's just say it's hitting this quarter right here, the other three quadrants will continue to work pretty efficiently. So with that said, that I find that's pretty important as an installer. You as an customer should really consider that as well. It's a point to consider. Now with all those things, the design, the efficiency, the, the intricacies of adding the extra diode, obviously the cost has ticked up a little bit because of this. So that being said, the Solarius are not your budget panel. They're also not your most expensive either. They're, I'd say, upper middle cost-wise, cost effectiveness ROI for the higher efficiency does pay itself off though something to consider. So if you have a constraint as far as how much wattage you can fit in your roof, the demand you have, the what you want to generate from your system as well, the Solaria is a really good pick. And I would say that because this is a 360 watt panel, whereas conventional solar installers are traditionally running around three, 320 watts per panel. So this being a higher wattage allows you to have a bigger system on a smaller roof. Also, again, the look. Those two things combined with the efficiency makes the Solaria a home run. So in closing, I'd, I'd like to say this, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, Ted, would you put this in your roof? Hell yes. This, this is a pretty sexy panel. I absolutely would use these. And going forward, as I buy more rental property, I will be using these. These are pretty great. So thanks, to, uh, thanks for watching for another episode of Uncensored Solar TV from all of us here at Solar Wolf Energy. Thanks for watching.